What is up YouTube? Welcome back to another podcast episode. In this episode, we are going to be talking about how to stay on track during the holidays or how not to derail all progress during the holidays or special events, whatever it may be. <laughs> She's literally crying. <laughs> um, so without further ado, we are going to jump into this. But um, yeah, so I find this is one that I always struggle with big time where I will be like dialed in and then something will come up. It won't even, it, like holidays are definitely the hardest because I feel like it's like a long Stretch. period of time, right? So mm -hmm. like you're essentially celebrating for like two weeks, especially like Christmas. And I mean, even in like, so us in Canada, we have Thanksgiving and then we have Halloween and then we have Christmas and New Year's. Whereas I feel like in the States, it's all from like Halloween to New Year's. It's just, I don't know, they have it like four weeks shorter than us. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, like, I don't know. I feel like there's always, there's always going to be something that stops you. So like, we wanted to get this, this episode out before Christmas so that hopefully there are some hit helpful tips and just I don't know kind of validation as to like what you're doing <laughs> isn't going to completely ruin any progress and that's the thing to... like I feel like you caught yourself you were gonna say like tips and tricks to mm -hmm. not derail your progress but honestly like deep down we know that it's not just gonna happen in one day yeah. but it's like it's when you have that all-or-nothing mentality that's where it gets really tough and that's where I struggle. Mm -hmm. I have a really hard time because I'm that like all or nothing type of person. And it's definitely something I'm getting better with because I'm conscious about it. But I think a lot of people aren't conscious about it. Yeah. Well, yeah, like essentially, and I mean like I've done this in the past where like I'll be dialed in because I'm that same way where I'm all or nothing. So mm -hmm. like I go hard and I just jump right into it. And like, and when I'm in that moment and if I continue to be persistent with that, I have no issues mm -hmm. with me. Like I have a much harder time with flexibility and like allowing myself to, to like indulge because then as soon as I do, I'm like, okay, I lose all willpower, but like yeah. until that point, you could, you could wave whatever, like you, anything in my face and I'll yeah. just be like, no, I don't like, no, yeah, I'm just you're, not going to do it. You're impressive when it comes to that. Like you can go to a family gathering that 100% revolves around food yeah. and you won't eat at all. And like, it won't even bother you yeah. if you're in that zone. Yeah. But if you had like one bite of something, it's like, okay, give me the whole plate. Yeah. And then it's like, I'll restart tomorrow. But then, but then at that point I've like, now I've had like one bite of a cookie and then it turned into like a box of cookies and then it turned into a bunch of other junk. Yeah. Like, like there's so many things. And I think like, that's the, that's the important thing is like, is like enjoy enjoy it mm -hmm. there are like there are little tips and tricks that you can do like if you're For sure if you're like going to be like drinking and stuff like if you can focus on like hard liquors with like low calorie or no yeah. calorie mix like there's there's little tips and tricks where like you can you can reduce your caloric intake mm -hmm. if weight loss is your goal yeah right like if not then I feel like you're not going to really stress that yeah. much. Like you're not really going to care when it comes to the holidays. Cause it's like, Oh yeah. You know, I'm trying to bulk up anyway. So let's just eat yeah. <laughs> everything in sight. But, um, yeah, like if, it, if weight loss is the goal, then eat your protein first. Yeah. You know, like prioritize protein, which is like that number one tip and the last one that 
I mentioned. Yeah, you know, yeah, like, true. like do your, you know, like try to get your workout in before the festivities begin. Because like, I guarantee, like even if it's like, say you're going for dinner and you're like, oh yeah, I need to hit the gym after. Like, sorry, but chances are, <laughs> if you went for dinner, you're not gonna, you're not gonna hit the gym. So like, try to get your work out in early or mm -hmm. like if you're not going to work out like you know like go for a little walk like, yeah for just sure. get some sort of movement in um i think like those are just like good habits to have um but like at the same time don't don't like negatively talk to yourself and like don't have those negative associations where like oh I can't eat that because I'm on a diet or yes. I can't have this and like completely restrict yourself and like not allow yourself to just like enjoy the moment like enjoy the time with your friends your family you're like that's you have to be able to like have that so I feel like this is a good opportunity how do you deal with people who try to pressure you or make you feel weird or awkward about not having dessert after? <laughs> I know you're like a pro at this. Maybe not a pro, but it happens to you a lot. And it's irritating, but like, how do you just... I guess, I guess the disclaimer here is like, if someone says no, they don't want an alcoholic beverage or no, they don't want dessert, mm -hmm. just say okay. Like, why? Yeah. Why? Why don't you want to drink? Why don't you want dessert? Yeah. Oh, are you on a diet or something? Like, yeah. how many times? All the time. All the, All time. the time. And, like, alcohol is, alcohol is always a huge one, too, because, like, at one point, like, we would we would drink mm -hmm. and like now we're like we're not drinkers no like we don't we it's very rare like yeah. probably like once every maybe three four five months if that like yeah. it's like and like, it's like one or two drinks yeah like it's, it's not, not like, like it, we're going out or yeah anything. we're not getting like wasted and stuff like but um yeah, like, I don't know, like, for me, it's, it's super easy for me now to just be like, no, I'm not drinking, because I, <laughs> I don't know what I have, but, like, I have some sort of negative reaction to it. Yeah. So, like, for me, like, to, like, turn down alcohol, it's like, no, I literally cannot have this, because I will just, like, break out in a rash. Yeah, like, yeah. I will just, like, burn up, and I will be super uncomfortable. Not worth and it. And, like, yeah, it, to me, like... The, like, satisfaction of, like, drinking and, like, I don't know, like, being pressured into that. Like, it's not worth it. Like, mm -hmm. I'd rather just be like, no, sorry, you get sober, Ethan. Uh, <laughs> as opposed to, like, drunk Ethan. Because mm -hmm. I, I have a hard time. Like, and sometimes, like, we do have a drink. And it's not too bad. But, like, other times, like, I'll have a sip. And I'll just, like, break out and yeah. just be, like, sweating and, like, hot and uncomfortable and it sucks. So, like, I'm not going to put myself through that. But, like, when I was, like, seriously training, like, when we were back in Long Lack and stuff, like, there were times where, like, I didn't, I also didn't drink because I just had, like, other priorities. Like, yeah. I knew that, that. The that night of drinking would just negatively impact my training and like to me at the time training was my was my main priority mm -hmm. so like people won't understand no people won't get that but like as long as you just like are confident in your like in yourself and like in your belief I don't think it matters so like yeah. I think it shouldn't be an issue like like oh me not eating that cookie makes you feel like crap like that's, that's sorry but that's problem. a yeah 100 percent a you problem like you are self-conscious about the fact that you're eating garbage mm -hmm. so you want me to eat garbage to normalize it and yeah that is just not my thing but that being said will i have dessert 
Probably. Possibly. Yeah. If it's something I actually really want. Yeah. Like I'm not going to deprive myself of that and I'm not going to make myself miserable or like <laughs> how many times have I just like, have we done like a social event and like, I've been like, no, I'm not eating, not doing that. No, don't want that. <laughs> and then like I get home and I'm just like, man, like I'm really craving junk now. Yeah. And I'll go out and just get something that I actually wanted. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like that makes more sense to me as opposed to just like settling because it's like, that's the dessert everybody is eating. Then I, I have to eat it too. Like that, that to me just like, doesn't make sense. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas like, I feel like you're way different. Like, I feel like you, you don't want to like offend anyone. Yeah, like I'm I'm definitely a people pleaser though. Yeah. So as soon as I'm like, yeah, if I can make anyone feel more comfortable, yeah. I would rather make myself uncomfortable than make other people uncomfortable. Yeah. And that's that's a me problem for sure. Mm -hmm. But it's like it's it goes both ways, but it's definitely something I'm getting better at, but I feel like I don't have it like, I don't know, like when I was dairy free, gluten free, soy free, mm -hmm. that was like related to an actual medical problem. You know, it wasn't like just because I was trying to lose weight or anything. Yeah. So I don't know. People just cut me some slack because it was actually medical. Whereas if it's just something I want, it's like, oh, well, like one bite won't hurt or whatever. Yeah. And that's where I'm like, okay, well, fine. Mm -hmm. Like, I'll just, I give in way too easily. Yeah. She's going to just keep freaking out. Why? You don't want to talk with us? You don't want to snuggle? But, yeah, like, I think the main thing is, like, don't feel guilty whether you do or you do not. Yeah. Right? So whether you choose to, like, if, if your priority, your number one thing is, like, your health, like, like that's, like, in whatever way. So, like, if you're not eating that because you're trying to lean down mm -hmm. for whatever reason, like, even if it's just to be lean. Yeah. You know, like, if, if your goal is strictly aesthetic, like, that's okay. Like that's, that's your priority. Like that's something that you want to achieve and that yeah. should be, that should be praised, not like demonized. Like the whole, <laughs> the whole movement of like fit shaming, yeah. you know, like just because they're in shape and healthy or, or on that path to getting there, like you can't project your insecurities onto them. Yeah. Right. So whether you mm. choose to have it or you choose not to have it, just like be be confident in whatever you want. Like, yeah, like just and do it for you. Yeah. Whatever like, you decide, make sure it's your decision and yeah. not like a peer pressure mm -hmm. decision because that's when it. Yeah, that's when you end up listening to the peer pressure, giving in. And then you're like, you feel so guilty. It's like, what's another bag of chips? Well, like, and that's the what's thing. another dessert once you get home? That's it. Like you're feeding into the habit of like quitting. Yeah. Like now you're just like every time that somebody challenges you on your path to wellness, mm -hmm. you're going to cave. You're just, you're going to continually do it if you don't build that callous like you need yeah, to just like tolerance. yeah you need to just be comfortable with like telling people no or you need to be like you need to have the willpower to just like limit yourself and then yeah. that goes back to like so main thing be comfortable with your choice yeah either way whether you're you know gonna indulge or you're not gonna indulge just like accept it because at the end of the day one day, one week, yes, it might set you back, but it's yeah. like, it's so temporary. Like, yeah. like there's only so much damage that can be done in like one to two weeks. Yeah, and like chances sure. are like, it's not like you're, you're going two weeks of just like 24 seven 
binge eating. Yeah. yeah or if exactly. you are, then like you also need to look at your your approach to your lifestyle because like obviously something was wrong there. <laughs> like you were so deprived that you completely had a breakdown at that point. But yeah. so that's like a whole separate thing. But like number one, be confident. Number two, if you are going to let yourself indulge but you're still scared that it's going to like completely derail you yeah. and you're going to just like binge or you're going to just fall completely off the cliff then like yes water yes water intake get your water intake up like make sure that that is on point don't allow yourself to just like not Mm -hmm. drink water because I find that's a huge thing especially in a social setting you'll just sit there sipping the same water like this would last me the whole time we're out yeah you know yeah. whereas like on a normal day that's literally one of eight glasses at yeah. least you know uh -huh. so the fact like water intake prioritize protein so make sure you're eating your protein like get your greens in yeah um you know, There's like, always a veggie tray yeah, that like, nobody's touching. Just go for it. Just eat until you are like satisfied. Yeah. With the with the whole foods. Yeah. And then move on to your indulgences. And chances are you're going to eat less. Yeah. You know, definitely. you might still overeat, but you'll have overeaten most likely less. So question. Mm -hmm. A lot of the times I see people talk about this. And they recommend intermittent fasting mm -hmm. until your, let's say, Christmas dinner. Yeah. That doesn't work for everyone. So, so here's the thing, okay. There's, I feel like there's intermittent fasting and then there's like starvation. Starving yourself, yeah. Right? So like, if you can controllably intermittent fast like there have been how many times oh, where like so i many. literally like that was the lifestyle i lived for like two three years yeah like just solid where yeah where if we were going to go to a restaurant yeah. or we were going to eat something and like we knew it and it was like pre-planned out then I would intermittent fast like but I, would, I can't no but you exactly like it is not a one size fits all yeah. approach, right? Like I was very comfortable. I can't do it now. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's like true. I struggle with it now. Like now that I've like ballooned up in weight, like I, like my body fights me so bad. And like, whereas when I would intermittent fast before I would, so I would eat in a very small window, like probably like four hour window. Like it was like li literally like dinner. And then like a few hours after that of yeah. just food. And then I would just be done. Yeah. And that was fine. And like, I wouldn't be hungry. I wouldn't be hangry. I wouldn't be exhausted. <laughs> now, if I fast for that long, sometimes I'm fine. Like yeah. sometimes I'm fine. And other times I know I'm not. Like I will, f I will feel like, hypoglycemic like I will yeah. feel like my energy fading I will feel my mood shifting I will be hungry I yeah. will be hangry like I will just be miserable and see for me it's I'm I'm cranky for sure I have no energy but it's I get to the meal I saved myself for all day yeah and I eat to the point where I feel like I'm gonna throw up yeah so you completely like lose that signal. I completely lose it. I can't stop. And I'm probably not eating like as much as I would have eaten throughout the day. Like I'm probably not mm -hmm. eating more than 2000 calories, but because I ate it so fast, yeah. my stomach hurts. I'm like bloated. I feel nauseous. I wake up the next morning and I'm like starving like I haven't eaten in like three days. Yeah. But I'm still bloated and I still feel full but like I'm having cravings and like I just, for me, I can't. Yeah. 
Yeah, and like, and so that's the thing, right? Like, if that's a tool that you can use, Properly. fantastic. Yeah, fantastic. Like, then do that. Mm -hmm. But not everyone can. Yeah, and some people abuse it to the point of that unhealthy, mm -hmm. that unhealthy approach where they're using it just so that they can binge eat. Yes. Right? Yeah, that's and a like bad mindset. And like that to me is a, a terrible mindset. Like you're setting yourself up for failure if you're that's, doing that. Yeah. Right? Like those, you see, like I remember back in the day when like there would be people and they'd be doing intermittent fasting and then they would make these like, these like ridiculous foods. Like they'd have like 12 trays of freaking subs as but their like, like reward but for like it wasn't even like it wasn't even like sandwiches it was like literally like cereal and like ch chocolate syrup and like just the <laughs> like most disgusting things and they would that's what they would eat and it's like like sure you lost weight because you're caloric intake has decreased from what sure, you were eating. Yeah, but like, so like how healthy now you're, are you? Yeah, now you're only binging in within a small window as opposed to binging all day apparently. But your your mindset is still Terrible. broken. Yeah. Like it's you haven't fixed the real root cause. And if you fix that, chances are you're going to be able to live such a healthier more fit life if you just like address the actual issue mm -hmm. which is your inability to recognize your hunger signal or your your satiated signal right mm -hmm. and and so many people i feel like just ignore it and they yeah. can just push past it me included like oh, that yeah. is that is a for huge sure. that is a huge thing for me and that's why i always like if I fall off, I fall off hard because I, I will ignore that signal. But at the same time, when I'm in diet mode, I'm the complete opposite where like, instead of like ignoring that satiated signal, I ignore that hunger signal. Mm -hmm. So like, I just like can, can live off of 1200 calories. Yeah. And like, why would I do that? Yeah. Like, why would no. I do that? Like I'm a 240 pound where... man who <laughs> works out and like is yeah. is an active person so like to eat 1200 calories for me is just stupid yeah so you mentioned ignoring our full signal mm -hmm. where do you think that stems from do you think that stems like all the way back from childhood or do you think it just I, I, gets worse all probably the time? like like for my specific scenario i was always that small kid mm. right so i would up until college maybe like a year before that i feel like i started gaining weight but yeah it wasn't all my fault <laughs> no it was it was i 100 percent. it was just like going from like being extremely active and constantly playing sports and constantly yeah. go 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 yeah. to not playing any sports like i graduated i was done with sports and like i got banned from sports my my last year of high yes. school too yeah right so that's when it really started was like, oh, well, like now I can't play sports. Mm -hmm. So a lot of like dietitians and like children dietitians say that it, a lot of people ignore that hunger or that satiated signal because, and I don't know if this is the same for you, but growing up, I had to sit my butt at that table until my plate was empty, mm -hmm. no matter how full I was. And yeah, so it definitely like is it different? Different people are gonna yeah. have it from different times, but yeah. it's something I'm so and, conscious of with our kids. And that's and yeah. I fight myself every single time. I'm like, just take one more bite. That See, one more thing, bite is not gonna do anything. But the thing is, is like you would you would eat that, and then you wouldn't ask for a cookie. Yes. Right? Right. Whereas, like, our kids will take one bite of their food and be like, I'm full. And then 10 and minutes then later. They, and then they want a freaking cookie. Right. You, you weren't full. Mm -hmm. You didn't want the food. 
Yeah. You wanted sugar. You yeah. wanted junk. Yeah. So like that's a, that's a huge difference. But like that, yeah. Like your scenario is a very common and very yeah. old school yes. thing. My uh, see, I feel like my parents never did that to us. Mm. Like my parents were like probably the opposite. Like they catered to our every whim. Like <laughs> like they made separate meals for each of us. Like mm -hmm. it was very rare that like there was something for four boys living in the house. That, that we all, all agreed, agreed on, like yeah. that we all wanted, unless it was like pizza or something, you know. Yeah, like but then something. you all had each your own toppings, each your no, own pizza. No, no, it was all the same, but like, <laughs> but like that's, that it's pizza. I mean, yeah. like, you know, you can't live off pizza. But um, with with me, I, I think it was myself trying to, because, I, again, I was training from, from such a young, a young age, age. Yeah. and like my obsession was always to be like big and big strong and strong yeah so i knew i needed to eat more because i needed to put on weight and the way to put on weight was to eat more so i would force myself to eat and mm -hmm. eat and eat and eat so like i would have like two three servings of of like protein yeah in my din with my dinner because it's like oh protein's gonna get me bigger so like I think I just formed a terrible habit of like being Force that small feeding. guy yeah and wanting to be bigger and now I'm a freaking big guy <laughs> who wants to be smaller but I'm still oh full circle eh? yeah you know it's wild <laughs> it's wild like to think that like I had an issue up until college of of being bigger like 140 pounds yeah yeah you know? i know it's, it's like five foot ten 140 pounds and then all of a sudden it's like boom now i'm 240 yeah like we I'm were literally like the same size yeah. when we first started dating yeah now i'm freaking huge beefcake yeah <laughs> but um yeah so what what are we what are we saying here? What are let's sum it up right now okay. because I think we're at thirty minutes. Okay, so stick to your guns. Confidence. Be confident in your decision. Yeah. Don't feel the need to explain to people mm -hmm. unless it makes you feel more comfortable. For me, I think that if I knew that I was going into a crowd that was going to question everything that I did, I'd probably like text. A couple of people before and give them a heads up like hey no no I would Pull do that off. anyway <laughs> sum it up sum it up okay stick to your guns prioritize protein and water maybe even fiber mm -hmm. um your greens fruits vegetables whatever yeah movement yeah. If you need to move that day, and I recommend even if you didn't plan on moving, do something mm -hmm. before. If you can, move after as yeah. well, even if it's like a 10-minute walk. Just to help digest. Pace inside around your house, yeah. like whatever. Um, and then and then when it comes to the alcohol, try to stick with like low-calorie beverages as mm -hmm. opposed to like those high calorie like um margaritas yeah like all the sugary drinks and stuff like that right so so Sangria. if you are like try to find some things that you know like diet pop and yeah freaking rum or yeah. whatever you know like yeah. rum and diet coke yeah like that cuts so much out a lot of people do like water with a Mio, like yeah, flavor enhancer yeah. with like, hard liquor. Like vodka. Yeah. And like Mio and yep. stuff, right? So, so do, you know, try doing that and see how it goes. But, um, I think that's it. I think that's pretty much it. So hopefully we offered you some advice. I feel like we kind of got lost <laughs> at one point, but I think. Veered off. I think we found our way back. Um, so those are our little pieces of advice for you for the holidays. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and until next time, peace.
Also, your drink always makes me so nervous. Yeah, no, I'm I not like you. Where you <laughs> I, know. <from. laughs> I know you're not. <laughs> I'm sorry you're not French, okay? I talk with my hands, but like, <laughs> you're just aggressive. You ready? Mm-hmm. You sure? Mm-hmm. What's she doing? Penny, Penny, come lay down. <gasps> Why are you so tall? Like, why is she so weird? Is it your ears? Like, just lay down in the blanket. You want to come sit? Come on. You want to come sit? Come on. Come on. Okay. <laughs> okay. How long do you want this one to go Like, 20-ish minutes. That was perfect, I think. I think our retention rate will be a lot better. Also, we look better in lighter colored clothes. Is that what you think? Yeah, like I find like it looks like we pop more. <laughs> With the black glasses, you can <laughs> fuck your eyes up. No. Yeah. I don't think so. I think it's fine. All right. <laughs>